Each week, one of Pop Dust's disposable clones is exposed to the outside world through a relentless feed of news, pop culture, and social media. But before they go, they leave behind a document of what they have learned. A time capsule preserving a single moment in the slow motion collapse of civilization. We call these End Times Updates. Oh, hi. Welcome to another End Times Update, presented by Pop Dust. I'll be your clone host for this week, Ryan Seacrest. And as always, we'll be taking a tour through the latest and greatest signs of mankind's impending demise. So, if you find yourself overwhelmed at any point by, you know, the inexorable approach of civilizational collapse. Just take a deep breath. <sighs> and smash that like button. Then don't forget to subscribe for more existential dread. As with every remaining week in humanity's shrinking future, this one was even crazier than the last. But I can't quite think of where to begin. Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's talk celebrity babies. This week, former child star couple Macaulay Culkin of Home Alone and Brenda Song of Disney's The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody announced the birth of their first child, Dakota Song Culkin. The couple shared a mixture of excitement and trepidation at the prospect of being new parents. I did it! Yay me! <laughs> Over the weekend, rapper Kid Cudi performed on Saturday Night Live with host Carrie Mulligan. Cudi received praise for his decision to wear a floral off-white dress in an homage to the late Nirvana frontman, Kurt Cobain. But while people appreciated Cuddy's rejection of gender norms, fashion critic Luke Marr criticized the dress's overly tight neckline, characterizing it as ugly. Colton Underwood, the virginal star of the 2019 season of The Bachelor, also made history this week, coming out as a gay man in a twist that no one saw coming. The first thing I do, I'm gay. I know that's a shock, Colton. <laughs> and that I think you should look into. Maybe you're the first gay bachelor and we don't even know. I, I, I no. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of shocking news, New allegations have surfaced against YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul, which paint the 23 year old as kind of a terrible person. TikTok star Justine Paradise accused Paul of sexual assault, detailing her 2019 experience at his Calabasas home. I thought that it was fine if I went in his room and I thought it would be fine to kiss him because 
I thought he would stop if I didn't want to do anything else. I guess he's been famous for like a long time. So I'm just assuming he always got what he wanted and never had to build like social skills and, and talking to people. I, I couldn't even tell him not to. He didn't ask for consent or anything. Like he knew I didn't want to do anything with him because he said, if nothing's going to happen, what's the point? While she corroborated her story with contemporaneous text messages and social media posts, if we're to believe her version of events, we have to accept her characterization of Jake Paul as someone so spoiled by wealth and fame, so used to getting whatever he wants, that he can't relate to other human beings and only values them to the extent that they serve his interests. You know when obviously I, we were going to upload our videos at the same time? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Why did you put yours out the day before? Because I do what I want. <laughs> yeah. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm quite upset. Neighbors, wake up. You're going to go through this pain with me. Thank you. <clears throat> Get your hands off the car, bro. Just because I took your cape off. Don't touch it. Don't you touch it. <laughs> What's wrong with you, bro? It's a Lamborghini. It's a baby. If I make $60,000 in one day, I come here to my bed and I cry myself to sleep as a failure. $60,000 for me is a bad day. I just got my truck pimped out. It's got a new horn on it that like blasts people's faces off. Let's scare some people. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Someone translate. He's in a lot of pain. I'm wondering if the floor is cracked. Yo, everyone follow him on Instagram for taking an L. Oh, it's not clickbait if we put gone wrong on the title, right? No, no, if we put broken bones, it's not clickbait either at this point, I think. I don't know, we'll see what the title is. Yeah, but also, like, I don't, like, at that time, it's like I didn't have respect for you. Why? Because I don't know you, and I don't care. You just don't care about me? No. Is that what it comes down to? Yeah, yeah, I don't. And I don't know, why, why would I? Paul has vehemently denied the accusations, claiming that sexual assault isn't in his character because he's a, quote, mama's boy. But since Paradise shared her story, fellow TikToker Rayleigh Lolly has come forward claiming to have had a similar experience with Paul in 2017 when she was a minor. And according to Paradise, numerous others have reached out to her directly to share traumatic experiences with Paul and other YouTubers in his orbit. I've been messaged by literally so many people saying similar things happen to them. And then there are people like Keemstar saying it's not possible to be assaulted in that way. Not possible. So if anything similar happened to anyone watching this, um, and you want to talk to someone about it, I'm here for you to talk to me. Um, my DMs are open on Instagram. I am getting a lot of hate right now, but I can like sift through it. In any case, it's safe to say that no one in the world is hoping to see Jake Paul get his ass handed to him in Saturday's boxing match against Olympic wrestler and mixed martial artist Ben Askren. No one. Literally no one. Well, that's it for this week. If the world survives longer than I do, we'll send another clone with more updates. Until then, bye!